What's up guys, Ray here. This YouTube channel is where I would do DIY and today finally I have something cool for you. I decided to make my DIY version of A1 tool head. So here as you can see it looks very similar as the printers that you saw before and also this tool head I inspired it totally from bamboo to make it. So since January of this year, I start working on a project that to build this tool head. So I use it what is available in the market, the aftermarket parts for the bamboo A1. And I built this tool head. I designed it. Actually, I did so many changes on it. Now this is the final version. There is also another version that I made it not with A1 hot hand, but with P1PP1S hot hand. But if you are like me that likes to switch the nozzles, you can use the A1 hot hand style. It will be a little more expensive because A1 hot hand, there's this thing to hold the nozzle and this thing is a little more expensive. But if you don't want, you can just use also P1 PP1S nozzle. I did this version. It will run you cheaper because there are so many aftermarket uh, hot hand and nozzles for the P1 PP1S. So guys, it's so easy to build this. Actually, this one I made it with magnet because I'm always removing it to, to change this nozzle. The other one for P1 PP1S, you can just use the screws to put this front cover in place because you don't need always to switch the nozzle. You, when you need to troubleshoot, you can just uh, unscrew here. There's a screw in front. So the main part of this little head is made with what? We have this EBB that is because I'm using the canvas here, but there's another version that you can just run your cable directly to the components here inside. But this one I'm using EBB 36 uh, board here for the canvas because I just want to run two cables here inside 
turn on four cables yes four cables inside but if you want also you can run all the cables without the having EBB version I made version for EBB 36 EBB 42 I think it's 42 right and also I made a version that you just put your cable run the cable directly here and then you connect stuff here inside and the main parts of this uh, tool head we have this hot hand here we have this fan the fan that is 25 by 10 something like that inside we have the gear this the main part of this tool head is the gear I'm using here inside the A1 gear that is known as one of the best gear for the print quality and for the stepper motor I'm using P1S P1P uh, stepper motor here inside aftermarket you can find them uh, I have to use the stepper motor it's not any stepper motor because they have different type of gear because their gear is a little twisted it's not so straight like most of gear that we use in most of tool head so you need to get the P1P, P1S type of gear, even A1, but I didn't do any version for the A1. So also we're gonna need a 50, 15 uh, type of blower fan. And yeah, that's all guys. And you just need to follow, take my files that I spent a long, long time designing them. I will link STL below in the description, just take them. You can build it and then you will be running this in your printer and the huge advantage of this print head is that you can just use any profile by a1 or a1 mini it will just work i just go and copy the profiles from bamboo and then put in your slicer and then you are good to go with nice print quality so if i click on this button here we can unload the filament the filament is unloading so now I can push it up, you can see. So to load the filament, there is a switch here inside. You can just push your filament down. It will automatically load. When you trigger that switch, you see, it's already loading. Yeah, and I will share with you also the macros that I'm using for loading and unloading the, the filaments. There is this poop shoot that it works exactly like the A1, A1 mini. I'm using this, this one, I bought it directly from the Bamboo website and this one will work perfect, this poop shoot uh, because I designed this thing to fit perfectly and for this part, it's part of the printer I'll be sharing this is when I share about how to make this, to build this printer so for that, stay tuned so I count with your likes, subscribe and if you want to support me go on my patreon and also for members of patreon you will have the step files and soon i'm about also to upload another video where i'm going to make the full build of this printer that looks like a1 mini but it's not a1 mini this is totally designed by me with uh, different parts i will list the parts also so if you want to build this printer you can build it it's quite fast actually this printer i changed it over time I even did a 7 minute bench before on it, but yeah, it's possible. This printer is a beast. As you can see, it's so small, but don't underestimate the capacity of this printer. So guys, if you like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for more because I like to do DIY. I like to create stuff, but I need a little more motivation. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment and stay tuned for more. Peace.